Hello everyone. It's a actually pretty nice day. Like it's not too hot yet. Cloud like slightly cloudy day here in eastern Texas. And I figured I'd do a look at my shade house on the YouTube channel because I did a tour of the shade house in High Desert Orchids on Facebook, but I haven't really shown it too much here yet. So I figured I'd do a quick little look see. And here's my lemonade. And get the bugs on it, did it? Nope. I put my, put my lemonade out here like a few minutes ago and forgot about it. So yeah, this is uh, this is the shade house. It's the greenhouse frame, which you guys should be intimately familiar with by now and it should have recognized it, hopefully. And I, instead of putting the cover on it for now, I put on the shade cloth over the frame and wired it down with uh, zip ties. So that, and, and m most of it, like this part I left open on purpose. And it's keep doing fantastic. Like all the catlias are happy and growing well, and they're up in the front. Uh, the rankalalias are up in the front here, hanging out actually, because they like to get some direct sun. So they get about an hour or so of direct sun, and then bright light the rest of the day. And I've got three of them now, thanks to that little feller right back there. But so yeah, let's we can get uh, get get started. I don't want to take too long, but to get, keep this video entertaining, but I want to show as much as possible. So we got the Rancolalias in the front. Oops, getting focused again. Rancolalia glauca with that nice new growth, and there's some root action happening. Rancolalia aristocrat, which is also starting to grow. And this little fella here with a new growth on this side right there is this is Rancolalia aristocrat crossed on Digbiana. And this is the Digbiana used is the 4N Miss Chase. And the camera keeps going out of focus. The 4N Miss Chase, and so it's going to be really cool. Uh, this is the Cattleya Walkeriana Flamea Alba, or Flamea Crossed on Alba. It's doing pretty well. Uh, you got Wine Eye Leopard sitting right here. Uh, Tigrina just matured this growth, and is actually, if I look over here, and look in there, starting to get ready on the next one, actually. This is one of my Sunset Valley Orchids plants, and god the camera keeps going out of focus. I was watching this spot to see if it was spreading, and it's not, so I think it's fine. But this this is the newest growth right here. It's pretty massive compared to the others. Um, this is one of my newer bag babies. This is uh, Epicat Volcano Trick, and this is the uh, Paradise clone. And it's a beautiful plant. It's got a new growth right here, a sheath right here on this one, although I don't think it's ready to bloom off of it. Uh, here's one of my other Sunset Valley Orchids plants. This is the Potenara Lovely Elaine crossed on Anne or Al Tahazer, Tan Tanahauser. Uh, this is my Catlia labiata from Clown Alley Orchids. This is the Tipo form, or the, the, the typical uh, form of the species, and this is actually the one I really like, so I'm glad I got one. It's got two sheaths on it. I don't know if they're going to bloom yet, though. They haven't done anything. Uh, Ingrychium Tiscopidale. Chugging along. Doing pretty okay. Uh, we've got in there, we've got a, B a BC Memoria Vita Lee. Just kind of hiding in there. And then this little fella on the end here is one I'm super excited about as well. This is uh, Catlia intermedia. This is the Forma aquinii, and this is the Cerulea form, or coloration. This is just a little, wee little baby, and it's got a new growth right there, but I'm so super excited to grow this one. It's just kind of sitting down here. There's a mosquito. There we go. Uh, LC Sagaric Wax, Silk Ball. This one's going to be a really cool bifoliate cross. There's a new growth right here that's maturing. I got this. This is another bag baby. Uh, the sunburned, but now starting to grow more. Uh, Epidendrum Nocturnum. Because you can see, like, it got some sunburn damage and whatnot. But it's doing okay. Oh, there's a spider right there. Uh, this is Wil Bulbophyllum Wilbur Chang. Looking really good. This is the newest growth right here. Oh, we got the dog. No? Okay. Sorry. Uh, this is the ridiculous Noidea philionopsis. <laughs> the one that's like growing crazy. 
Uh, I actually just sold it, so it's going to even get packed up for shipping later. Uh, this is my sp Dendrobium spectabuli that got badly sunburned, but it's starting to recover and I see a growth forming. Uh, the two Dendrobium seedlings, these are Anobi Purple Splash crossed on Burana Pink. Uh, Bulbophyllum Frostii, Bulbophyllum Longissimum, this is the Thai, the Thai one. On this side here, we have, this is Cattleya labiata, this is the Rubra. It's, it needed more light before, so I moved it up front because it was, it's, it's, it's lost its red coloration from being in the greenhouse in, in New Mexico. Uh, this is another ba Better Grow Bag Baby, Catlia Maxima Cerulea, crossed on Walkeriana Cerulea. So this is going to be a really cool one. I can't wait for this. Uh, probably two years away from blooming. Or maybe maybe off, maybe off one, if it grows pretty fast, because Walkeriana doesn't need to be very big. This is RLC Orglades Grand, crossed on RLC Mount Hood. This one is registered as Chief Mount, I believe. And this is another bag baby. Uh, this is the uh, stub of my uh, Sarcometum venusum. It's a one of the voodoo lily species, or voodoo lily group species. Uh, this is uh, one of the Potanaras that was kind of like a rescue that was sent with one of my orders from Sunset Valley Orchids. This is uh, Potanara starfire crossed on firehouse. It's doing okay. It's got a new growth right here, and then it's plumped up. It looks good. It's, it did lose some roots, but it's looking, still looking good. Uh, this is the Catlia Snowblind. That was a sad little bag baby that I got for like two bucks last time I visited Texas before I moved out here. It's got like, it's doing eh. It, this one got burned a little bit, and then the dieback keeps going, but it stopped since then. But I've got a new growth, so there's hope. Uh, this is Catlia Walker, or this is Catlia Violacea crossed on Walkeriana. This is uh, the... Crimson Glory Violacea clone and the Morning Mist Walkeriana clone. This is my Catlia Poseidon Lake Cerulea. Look at that new growth. It's also got roots coming out. There's one, oops, there's one right there. And there's one already growing right there. And this is uh, Gurianthi Skinner Eye. It's not doing too hot, but I'm, I'm holding on to it to see what happens. We got some bigger Catlias over here as well. This is uh, Catlia Volcano Wonderland, Volcano Queen. It's got a new growth back there, but it's like it's it's kind of stuck behind there. This this big fella right here is uh, Catlia Pure Soul Yutaka Morimoto. It's got four new growths maturing. It's got two growths from previous cycle that are in sheath, although I don't know if they're gonna bud. That doesn't look like it. Uh, Bulbophyllum Cocoinum, Bulbophyllum Mean Kingdom Warriors, Zia Solaris, an assortment of other Bulbos like uh, Betsy Star right there, Mean Buddy, uh, Echinolabium and Echinolabium crossed on Colin Dukes, or Adorable Colin, uh, Mean Poison Raspberry, there's a Brassia that's sitting there for some reason, uh, Brassia Edvalu crossed on Caudata Alba, Bulbophyllum Orderatissimum, a Miltonia uh, wine tiger, I believe it was, a seedling that I, I rescued, and it's starting to grow. Uh, Bulbophyllum Wilbur Chang again, but this is the other one that the one the, the one I got from Marlos that lost half of the plant. <laughs> uh, Bulbophyllum Trigonosepalum, and this is Dendrobium Bridal Celebration or Bridal Red Celebration. It's got some kikis on a couple growths, and then it's got a new growth coming off that other kiki. Down here we have uh, RLC Digby Lane, a Miltonia, or two Miltassas. This one's not doing too hot. This is uh, Miltassa Shell of Tolkien, and this is Miltassa Lavender Kiss, Lavender Taffy, which is doing much better. It, I think it it got a little scratched up during a, a storm that, lit, that moved the greenhouse in, back into Mexico. Uh, this is uh, the Phalaenopsis X Intermedia. That's doing pretty pretty well. It's got I see some roots coming out. There's one there, two more in there, three more actually. So we've got we've got a good amount of roots starting to come out, and it's also branching. The spike you can see, we got two branches. And then I got the Bulbophyllums. These are or seedlings. These are the Fullerton crossed on Mankind, which is super exciting. Uh, the sunburned Phalaenopsis amabilis that's just sitting there. Uh, Bulbophyllum 
This is uh, Bulbophyllum lobii uh, subspecies siamensi. Bulbophyllum uh, medusae, which is not looking too hot, I'll be honest. Uh, Dendrobium anopi purple splash. Phalaenopsis bellina, that's starting to grow a little bit finally. And then over here on the cat on the catacetum side, and actually there's a couple down here. Uh, this is the Brassavola subulifolia, formerly cordata. I just put it down here to water it and forgot to hang it back up. And this is the other Walkeriana. This is the Walkeriana semi-alba carmella, which is an actual Walkeriana. Oops, sorry. Up here we have. Oops, I need to move this. We have. This is the uh, Catacetum philidorus crossed on Jose Abalo. Uh, the Fred Clark Ara black after dark black. Pearl, uh, Catamoides Dragon's Glade, which is, do, which is really growing. This is a new one from Clown Alley Orchids as well. This is a uh, Galliandra Barii. I gave this one uh, the clone name uh, Hyperion Dreamscape, which was I thought was pretty cool. It was a pretty, it's a really beautiful flower, for the, especially for the species, and it's got a spike. It's got seven buds on it, and the first one right here is starting to color up a little bit. Decent sized flowers. Uh, this is this is the Fred Clark Ara After Midnight crossed on Orca Glade. This is the uh, Painted Desert crossed on Milana Davison as well. This is a mini Fred Clark Ara breeding uh, plant. And this is Catacetum Chuck Taylor and Diculatum, as is that one right there behind it. And then right here is, uh, this is one of my only uh, Cygnodes, or Cygnodes right now. A uh, Cygnotes spotted hornet cross on words of HEI. It's registered as Cygnotes troubled uh, or troublemaker. And RLC Akik Asada, which is a bag baby from a couple years ago. It's hopefully going to bloom next growth. Look at this. I mean, it's like a pretty good sized plant. And then uh, the finale over here is uh, my big Catlia Acklandii or Acklandii. I say Acklandii a lot. Um, the uh, Kelly actually from High Desert Orchids sold this to me. This is her, was her plant, but she didn't like the way it smelled. She describes it as minty cat barf. I thought it was actually kind of pleasant, so that says may say a lot. I don't know, <laughs> but uh, it's an interesting. It's a really nice, healthy plant. It's got a new growth maturing right there, although it's off of a lead that's not ready to bloom. This one was the one that just finished blooming right there. And so yeah, that was a, a quick uh, compulsory glance at the Shade House. I do hope you guys enjoyed this video, and look out for more. I'm going to finally get, get a schedule set up for filming again. This was just kind of like a compulsive uh, or impulsive uh, filming. So thank you guys for watching. do hope you enjoyed the video, and please subscribe and share the channel. Thank you.